This is a problem-based learning object, a PBLO, uh, for the AEDT 1110U Foundations of Adult Learning course in the BA in Educational Studies and Digital Technology. The format of this particular PBLO is modified to fit totally within a video format. The analysis questions for this PBLO are as follows. Number one, what life responsibilities does Florina have? Number two, describe Florina's education background. Number three, what kind of activities does Florina engage in? I'm happy to introduce you to Florina Gillespie. Florina has a college diploma in graphic design. She's excelled in artistic endeavors by developing her own line of electronic art that she displays and sells on her own website. She regularly participates in community-based workshops and her local art association events. She has a family where she and her partner are raising two young children. She's working at a grocery store as a clerk. She looks on Monster CA and other related websites for job opportunities, but notices she does not have the background required in most instances. She also looks at websites for colleges, universities, trade schools, wondering about the kinds of opportunities that they offer to her. The theoretical lens for this PBLO are as follows, or is as follows. Um, it's a quote taken from Mesereau 1981, and the reference is at the bottom. It's available through the Ontario Tech U uh, Library. The quote is, the third area of cognitive interest or learning domain Habermas characterizes as emancipatory. This involves an interest in self-knowledge, that is, the knowledge of self-reflection, including interest in the way one's history and biography has expressed itself in the way one sees oneself, one's roles, and social expectations. Emancipation is from libidinal, institutional, or environmental forces which limit our options and rational control over our lives, but have been taken for granted as beyond human control. Insights gained through critical self-awareness are emancipatory in the sense that at least one can recognize the correct reasons for his or her problems. And again, this taken from Mesereau, 1981, page 5. The diagram that is accompanying this is also taken from the same article, um, and it's uh, identified as levels of reflectivity, and it's taken from page 12 of that article. Synthesis questions for the PBLO are as follows. Why is Florina searching through job and higher education websites? Number two, what role might reflection have in Florina's thinking? Number three, what might be the affective reasons for Florina's actions and thinking? And that brings us to the end of this particular PBLO.